Hi, welcome back to the Custom Saber Shop on YouTube. My name is Rob, and today I'm going to answer the most commonly asked question. What resistor do I need? That comes up all the time. If you're new and you're building your first saber, it's going to come up if you're using a resistor to resistor your LED. Often you go on the forums or you ask someone by email. People like me get asked this question all the time. And it's really something that's very easy to find out for yourself. So today I'm going to show you how to do that. And it's going to be a lot simpler than you think. All you're going to need are three pieces of information. Number one, you're going to need to know what your battery voltage is. Now if you're using a lithium ion battery, like most of us do for sabers nowadays, you're probably working with a 3.7 volt battery or a 7.4 volt battery pack. Those are the most common. Now what we're going to do for the purposes of today is we're going to round up. And the reason is a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery fully charged is going to be about 4.1 volts. So you're going to see that calculating a resistor, while simple, it actually isn't an exact science. It's more like horseshoes and hand grenades than sniper rifles. So what we're going to do is we're going to round up a 3.7 volt battery to 4 volts. We're going to round up a 7.4 volt battery pack to 8 volts. Make it really simple. So that's the first piece of information you're going to need is your battery voltage. The second piece of information you're going to need is the maximum current your LED can handle. And this is actually really easy to find. If you've purchased your LED from the thecustomsabershop.com, just go to the page where you ordered your LED from, and right in the bottom there's a couple of key pieces of inf information. One of them is this, the maximum current in amps. You may see it in milliamps or MA, and essentially 1000 milliamps, which is what a lot of the Cree LEDs that I like to use, that's their maximum, 1000 milliamps. Well, that's one amp. 0.7 amps is 700 milliamps. So you can see how it's really easy to, to, to dial that in. So we're looking for your maximum current in amps. And the third piece of information that you'll need is the forward voltage of your LED at that maximum amps. Because the forward voltage, or VF, isn't a set figure for your LED. It varies depending on the current, the amps. So at your maximum amps, what's the forward voltage of your LED? And again, that's going to be right there if you've purchased your LED at the Custom Saber Shop. If not, you may need to look up your LED and find the data sheet. This information will be there for you. So, we've got the battery voltage rounded up. We've got the maximum current in amps. And we've got the forward voltage of our LED at that maximum current. Congratulations. That's the hard part. The rest of this is super easy. It relies on an equation called Ohm's Law, and it goes like this. R, or resistance, equals voltage divided by amps. So in our application, it's the simple. Resistance equals your battery voltage minus your LED's forward voltage divided by your maximum amps. So you can see that in our equation, the battery voltage, 4 volts rounded up, minus the LED voltage, 3.5 in this case, gives us 0.5 divided by 1 amp is a 0.5 ohm resistor. Ohms is the measurement of resistance that we're using. So we need a 0.5 ohm resistor in this application. Congratulations, you've used Ohm's law to calculate your resistor. Now, when I use a resistor for a high power LED, I'm going to use a 3 watt or a 5 watt resistor. You'll notice that watts is another thing you'll have to select when choosing your resistor. So we need a 0.5 ohm resistor. I'm going to go with a 3 watt resistor. Now there is a separate calculation to calculate watts. And if you go to the description of this video, there's a link to a post on the Custom Saber Shop forum by FJK outlining the different calculations for resistor values and you can dial it in perfectly. The reason I use 3 watt or 5 watt is because watts is a measurement of heat and resistors, among other things, they dissipate heat. So I might err on the side of a beefier resistor for, for high power applications like this. Now, if, if you get a 3 watt resistor or a 5 watt resistor, it's not going to change the value very much of the important stuff. It's just going to manage your heat. So for high power LEDs, I recommend a 3 watt or a 5 watt resistor. Now, if you're using Ohm's Law and this video to choose the right resistor for an accent LED like 
the LED inside your anti-vandal switch, well, you're not going to need a 3-watt resistor for that because it doesn't use that many milliamps. It's probably only a 20 milliamp uh, LED inside the switch. So you're going to need a much you know, smaller wattage, one quarter watt maybe, on your resistor, but you can figure that out now. So I hope that helps. You've just used Ohm's Law to calculate the value of the resistor that you need for your high-power LED in your lightsaber project. Thanks again for watching.